I think interestingly, Kyle, when you say like the discharge, um, so let, I said, I have two young sons and when they finish school, I think about this model, like forget healthcare for a second. Imagine this model of education. When they finish school, I get a report card, I get their progress. I, and there's a standardized test that they say, Hey, he's at grade level, above grade level, below grade level. Right. And it's a combination of things, but imagine if the only marker to say, should he progress from fifth to sixth grade was, did you get suspended? And I say, no. I mean, that's essentially asking like, is there pain? No, pain's pretty much gone. Oh, okay, well, let's just move you on. And it's like, it's, that's not acceptable in education. In education, we think, hey, we don't have to have a crazy test, but let's just do a standardized test at, towards the end of the year and give the parents those results so that if you need, say, tutoring over the summer, you can get it. Or, hey, you should really challenge your kid when they sign up. So my one son is entering middle school and now they're allowing electives to challenge that a little bit. Well, I think that's kind of like, Let's take you to fitness in, in Matt's facility. Let's challenge you a little bit with your movement, but we don't just like wash our hands of, is there pain? Yes or no. And move on. Right. Just some sort of standardized assessment at the end gives us such, so much more information and allows us to help those people so much better.